Welcome to step two, which is create a new project in Glitch. So Glitch is a simple tool for creating web apps and it's really good for this project because it has a text editor that allows you to see edits to your web pages live right inside of Glitch. So we're going to be using this. If you don't have this or don't want to use this, please feel free to use any text editor of your choice. Another great feature of Glitch is that it allows you to publish your projects really easily for the world to see. You can share it on social media. You can just blast it everywhere. And if you find a cool project that someone else made and you really love it, you can look at their code and remix it. Okay, so let's get started by signing in. So in order to share or to save your work on Glitch, you will need to sign in. So this is really important because we need to save our work and you may be doing this over breaking it up over a day or two and you don't want to lose anything you work on. So go ahead and sign in. You can do that with your Facebook account, your GitHub account or your Google account. And if you're under the age of 13, just ask a parent or guardian if you can use one of theirs. Okay. Once you log in, this is, or I'm sorry, once you sign in, this is what you should see. And if you don't see this for any reason, let's say, for example, it brings you to a project page that looks like this. If to get, if you want to get back to the dashboard, just go ahead and just click those uh, little fishies at the top and hit back to glitch. Okay, so this is the dashboard. It shows you all the projects that you got going on, and you can even explore more about glitch by learning more. You can look through different collections that they have and. Just take a moment and explore if you would like. And once you're ready, we are going to start by hitting new project and selecting hello web page. This is basically a template for our web page project. And this is what it will look like once you get there. Okay, don't worry about the files and all the stuff you see. We're, we're going to talk about that in a second. For now, let's just go ahead and give our project a name. Okay, you can choose any name you want, but try to choose something descriptive that's related to your tutorial. So mine is going to be PB&J Smoothie because that's what I'm teaching you how to do, how to make. I just had this today and it's so good. I can't wait to share it with you all. All right, also give it a description. It's really important to you choose something descriptive because if you go back and make another project in Glitch, you don't want it all to not make sense. So how to make a pb and J smoothie. Okay, so that is what we need to do to get started. Take a moment and give your project a title and a description, and then we'll explore the files that we see in our project. All right, so back in our project space, it's kind of broken down into like two different sides here. The left is what I like to call the file pane. It has the list of all the files in your project, and the right kind of shows you a preview of that file. So the first thing you see is the README file, that one's open, and you can see all the contents of the README. So Readmes are basically files that you will constantly see in other people's projects. Usually they contain information about how to navigate through the project, or if it's a program, how to run that program. In this README, it specifically points us to three different files, the index.html, style, CSS, and the script, JavaScript file. So let's talk about these files in a little more depth. We're going to start with the HTML in step three. I'll see you over there.